Hello, I'm Dr. Bo Bernhardt. I'm the Vice President of Economic Development here at UNLV. I want to start by thinking from the bottom of our academic hearts, both GOED, the Governor's Office of Economic Development, and SWITCH, whose generous financial donations have led to the kinds of brainstorming you're about to see. As the proud leader of economic development for this university, I can think of no more important effort to diversify and strengthen our economy than the sports-related projects that you're about to learn about. And don't dismiss any of these as mere small projects. You never know where even a small project might end. I have one such small story that I'd like to share with you. Uh, I was teaching an executive leadership course here at UNLV just about five years ago. And after lecturing on how the NFL did not seem to understand the latest research on gambling and policy and regulation and the way that Las Vegas was leading, uh, I actually was approached by a gentleman who would forever change Las Vegas' sports history. He was attending my class and his name was Napoleon McCallum. He was in the class as a community relations director for Las Vegas Sands, the company that then took the football and ran with it over the, into the end zone uh, for the ultimate Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, but what Napoleon had to say that day was transformative. He said, I think that what you said about the research is something that the NFL doesn't know about. Do you wanna meet with the Raiders? And I said, sure, thinking that probably wouldn't happen because researchers don't get these kinds of opportunities, but certainly wanna be open to them. And sure enough, about two weeks later, we were at the International Gaming Institute talking research with Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders. And when I was finished explaining how research provided answers, he asked me if I could put that into a big academic report, which as a professor, I was happy to do. We then went around and helped educate the NFL and other teams, and we knew that we had to get to 24 points, so to speak. We knew we needed 24 votes out of the 32 teams in the NFL to approve the Raiders' move from Northern California to Southern Nevada. Fast forward to three marches ago, we were at the Biltmore Hotel in Phoenix, armed with that research report just in case they needed it, and they didn't because we got a text from the inside that said, yes, 31, no, one. The Las Vegas Raiders have been voted into existence. And now here's what I love about this story. It tells us about the inspiring power of a university and its research. It actually starts as a teaching story inside of a UNLV classroom. And then it evolves into a research story where provided, we provided the research insights to the National Football League and other constituents. And then it evolved again into a teaching story as we took that research and taught the world with it and teach the sports world we do here in Southern Nevada. Think about it, when I grew up in Southern Nevada, Las Vegas' boxing spectacles were unlike any other on the planet. A generation later, the Golden Knights reinvented the very presentation of sports itself in arenas. Like many innovations, this was first mocked, right, as overly Las Vegas, over the top. Then it was embraced and ultimately copied, not just throughout the NHL, but around the sports world. UFC literally invented a new sports entertainment option, taking something we knew as Nevadans, that strong regulation and oversight, and with Mark Ratner's leadership at the UFC, we knew that this was something that could result in a cleaner, safer, more appealing activity, just as the gaming industry needed that kind of Nevada expertise to oversee gaming's growth, which has since, like the UFC, been exported to the rest of the planet. So I say this today, be excited about research. Be excited about small things. Be excited about the ways in which research-based insights just might change the world. And let's move onward together. Thank you for coming.